Hello guys, welcome to Short Gyan by Gopal Sharma. So today we will start our new uh, Python course that is Python for beginners. So in this course we will see uh, what is Python, how to use it, uh, what are the basics of Python. Uh, we will see the intermediate uh, uh, level of Python and we'll go up to the advanced Python. Uh, so let's start this course. So in the first lecture we all will uh, read. Um, let me show you. This is the agenda for today to study okay, what is programming language. Uh, first of all, before starting any programming language, we must know that what it is, what the programming language is. So, the programming language uh, is nothing but a way to communicate with the computer system. Actually, the computer only understands the binary language, it is well known to everyone. But uh, uh, we are not able to give the inputs to the computer in the language binary. So uh, high level languages or low level languages are developed in order uh, to give the inputs in a user friendly way. So uh, let me sum it up. Okay, what is the programming language? A programming language is a way to instruct the computer in human understandable language. So different languages have different syntaxes and uh, today we will learn uh, or start Python. So come to the second point that what Python is. What is Python? Python is nothing but a high level uh, programming language. It is a general purpose programming language. Uh, general purpose means we can use it for web development, uh, for database management, for artificial intelligence and many purposes. So it is called general purpose language. Uh, it was uh, introduced in the year 1990 or 1991, 21st February 1991, the day uh, when it was launched by Guido Van Rossum. Guido Van Rossum developed the Python programming language. So Python uh, has many features. It is very easy to learn. The syntax are very simple and uh, uh, the uh, it is case sensitive so all these things comes under belongs under features of python let us uh, revise the features of python it is general purpose programming language i already told you the general purpose means uh, it can be used for many other purposes it is a platform independent language means it can be used on either windows or mac os or linux or ubuntu or whatever the os platform is it may run Okay, uh, next point is Python is open source, free and open source software means you can access it freely. You need not to pay any cost for using Python uh, and its interpreter and you may also get the source code of Python. That's why it is called FOSS, free and open source software. The next feature of Python is it is case sensitive language means if you uh, uh, while writing a code, if you write p in small of python let it be a keyword we will understand what the keywords are Let's understand uh, only that i am writing a code and this is the syntax i have to write python and if i write p it will give an error if i write capital p it will run as usual because python is case sensitive the capitalization or uh, the lowercase matters here the next feature of python is it is very easy to understand it is very super easy to understand comparatively to all languages like C where you have to write all the codes and everything for a simple program like summing up her two numbers. You need not do all that in Python here. You only have to write simply sum give the value first and plus second value. You, it will return you the sum. So Python is super simple language. Next feature of Python is that uh, Python uh, uh, has inbuilt libraries. Lots of libraries are already inbuilt in Python. It can be used in artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, deep learning and many features are also included in the Python. You need not to write the code as long as it is. Uh, you just have to import the library and use the code written in within that. You have to use the functions written within that. Okay. So let us see how to install the Python within your computer. So first of all, we have to go to the Chrome. Uh, this is the channel short gun by Gopal Sharma. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for uh, the updates you may get here. 
all the videos are uploaded on the channel frequently here you can get mathematics science physics chemistry python and c languages i'll create a new playlist for the course here is also uh, four videos in this uh, playlist of python i have already told about graphics making gui and turtle random module so let us see uh, how to install the python first of all you have to open the web browser and type here uh, python.org so the python's official website has got open now in the download section you have to uh, uh, hover over here then you will get the latest version from here but if you are using windows it will show you the download for windows this is the latest version of python or if you want to download any other version you just simply have to click on your os platform windows mac os or other platform as i am using windows i'll click here windows all the python releases will get open here search for a suitable python interpreter or that is uh, compatible with your device so let me uh, download one of them so let's download python 3.9.7 okay it cannot be here is also written cannot be used on windows 7 or earlier cannot be used on windows xp or earlier so the specifications for the various python releases has been given uh, in front of them so we can download any of them uh, for an example let me download python 3.9.7 so choose from here uh, whatever your system uh, is 32 bit or 64 bit mine is 64 bit so download installer i'll click on it the windows uh, python installer will get a start to get downloaded so we'll look for it later so as it get uh, downloaded we will be notified and uh, we will uh, see how to install the python so Till the time it gets downloaded, I must tell you uh, that on my channel you may also get lectures of C here, and uh, I've already uh, made videos on bubble sort uh, and uh, AP using AP program arithmetic progression. Uh, if you find it uh, useful for you, then you may like the videos and share it with your friends and uh, uh, your uh, um, known ones so that they can also get the benefit the python has got downloaded we will open it in the folder double click on it to run it so i've already installed the python in my computer so that's uh, that's why it's showing me the dialog box to modify to repair or to uninstall when uh, you do not have a python already installed in your computer you will get uh, a um, dialog box showing you two options install and uh, there will be one another so you have to click on the install uh, let me uh, click on the repair so when you get uh, installed with the python you have to install it as usual as you do all other softwares but uh, the one thing which you have to remember about is that there will be a checkbox named add to path before clicking on the install you have to check out that box that is add to path variables add python to path variables that will be very helpful for you i'll tell you about path variable what are those and how to add it on uh, so you only have to click on add to path variables then click on next it will get installed so here it is uh, checking the issues with the python that is installed in my computer so let us give it the time it takes <clears throat> it's checking all them so uh, i will all also tell you some tips and tricks which you can use uh, in python while coding uh, or while doing or writing your program so it will be very uh, fun and uh, informative series so just mark out the series and save it save the playlist and bookmark it so that you can access it as earlier as you can and press the bell icon hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share it with all your friends let it get repaired mm, it's taking time more than the usual it all it also depends on the internet connection you have mine is a bit slower one uh, if you have your system configurations very well internet and it